Our Bible story today comes from the book of 2 Chronicles, and it's the story of a king who faced an impossible situation. He could have chosen a lot of different ways to react when he got some bad news, but we will see that he chose the best way and he turned to God. Now, King Jehoshaphat was in his kind of doing his kingly duties when he got some very bad news. Some messengers came bursting in. King, King, you have to hear this. We've been told there's a great multitude of armies assembled and they're very close and they're coming to attack. What was he going to do? Mm. Can you imagine? How would you feel? Wouldn't you be afraid? Wouldn't you want to run away? Well, he was afraid, but he turned to God. And actually, if we look back when he first became king, one of the things he did was he led all of the people to, to get to know God and God's word and become obedient to that. And he sent teachers out into all the land and taught them about God's word. And even the young ones and the old ones, everyone, everybody, he taught them. And, and it caused them all to have a great faith in God and a common purpose to follow God and to be obedient to him. And they believed and they were united together in their desire to follow God because of it. So in this emergency, this is what King Jehoshaphat did. Probably not what you would have expected. He gathered his people, he called the people together, and he called them to prayer and to fasting. Mm -hmm. Now fasting is when you give up some of your meals and when you have those hunger pains, it reminds you to turn to God and to pray and to seek his will. And they all were together in one place and King Jehoshaphat led in prayer and he was guiding the people to seek God's will in the situation. And as soon as he finished his prayer, a man named Jehaziel stood up and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him and he spoke the actual words of the Lord to the people. This was like an answer to Jehoshaphat's prayer. And in this prophecy, in this speaking God's words, he said to all the people, listen to me, not to the army coming. God is mighty, more powerful than any army. Do not be afraid for I am with you. Trust me, I will go into battle with you. Watch and see what I do. King Jehoshaphat took these words to heart and the next morning he got ready to go to battle. He didn't do it the way that most kings would do to get ready to go to battle. He didn't put his soldiers and his weapons in the front line. Instead, in the front of the marching army were singers and people that were there to praise God and lead the army with songs and worship. Mm -hmm. And as they marched along, they were encouraged, remembering the words that they had heard from God. And as they got close to where they knew the multitude, which means a huge number, was gathered, they were expecting to see activity and hear lots of noise and kind of getting ready to face whatever was coming. But they were very surprised. There was no noise. There was no movement. What could be happening here? And as they got closer, they realized they didn't see any people. They didn't see any soldiers except soldiers lying on the ground. The soldiers in these armies had turned against one another and fought with one another until there was not one single soldier alive. So there was no battle that day. God had won the battle for King Jehoshaphat and his people. Mm -hmm. And their faith had shown them that they could truly trust and hope in God. Now we serve a God of hope. And this story can remind us that even when we're in situations where there just seems like there's no way out, as King Jehoshaphat must have felt, God is there mm -hmm. and God will be there for you and he will give you strength and give you hope and be an encouragement and he's also provided a way out for us from our sin he sent Jesus so that we could always have the hope that we'll be with him someday when we choose to have Jesus as forgiveness for our sins and so the faith of Jehovah's Jehoshaphat is a 
is a good example for us when we feel stuck, when we feel like we have no way out. Mm -hmm. So we kind of love to see these kinds of stories and how fun, how much we see from them. Yeah.